Alright, so if you're wondering how to build like a mobile app with JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Angular, and Firebase, Ionic is it. So the technologies you'll be using is Ionic, Firebase, Firebase, which is a backend. Firebase is a backend database. This guy. And the front end is going to be AngularJS. AngularJS. And then it's called Angular fire so you would go through the docs and you create an app through that step by step guide so you can create probably a mobile chat room this is my whatever app that I'm working on whatever crap let's kill this guy so let's get started on how to install this guy so it'll be npm install tag global so it'll be like npm install you can follow the guy cordova ionic done press enter and it'll install I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it and then you go ionic start my app tabs so you can select whatever template you want and actually CD in well for Mac this stuff will be installed but for Android there's like a guide I'll also put it under the video uh, Android, it's like a long video tutorial on the Ionic channel Yeah, this is it. This video. And he goes through everything. It's like pretty big because I didn't bother. But you don't need that. You could just do a, a fake one. You could go Ionic Serve. And cool. You have the app. Oops. There you go. The Ionic app. So thing is a little guy so let's create a new item new item tagline what's up what's up price 10 bucks cool and we'll have a new item right here and let's go hack my item bam hack it let's get a new picture Defaced. Yeah, defaced. Defaced. So that's what it looks like when you get hacked. Oh, I got it faced. Try one more. I don't know. What's the code base? It's the most important thing of Ionic. It's not this stuff. It's the dub dub dub. Um, the only thing that matters is the template index. You don't. The only two things you need is the copy and paste Firebase in here. It's in part of the snippet. It's under the Ionic, and then the JS library. So the only two important things you have to learn is basically Firebase and Angular, which are really hard. Ionic is very easy to use. It just it's just a browser that wraps around the Firebase and Angular, so if you're pretty strong with Angular, you can make an app with Angular and Firebase, you're just good to go. Um, that's the one I'm talking about, but I'm not that good at teaching those two technologies, but I'm gonna have like a video links to like Udemy, I'll show you how to do it. So you do probably a similar app. Another good thing about um, Angular and Firebase is you can create a login, so you don't need to like create a Login, it creates the stuff for you. All you do is set it up. So let's change that a bit. So let's change the image right here. Image, Google, slash images. Oh, come on. port. Let's 
colors are nice on console. I'll give you that. Based. Pick up Bumblebee. And Sriracha. So, uh, you can go in. Uh, I call these cats. Restrict. Store. So, yeah. This thing's very sensitive, so if you type something wrong on your Angular, the JavaScript side, this entire script would break and you would know, and the server would be like, oh, it's broken somewhere, and then the developer tools in. Uh, Aerial lagging, I don't know why. And Chrome would be like, eh, it's broken, something like that. So, that ends my somewhat of a tutorial. This is more like a show off, but yeah, you just follow the docs and get installed. If you know Angular and uh, Firebase pretty well, then you will have a whole app up and running like pretty quick. So, yeah. Because Ionic's some documentation is great. And that's about it. See ya.